Therefore, be it resolved, the members of the Town Green Committee do hereby fully support the town in its efforts moving forward with the solar power project to be located on the grounds adjacent to the wastewater treatment plant off John Hanson Road, thereby fulfilling the town's commitment to the goals proposed under Sustainable Maryland. You know how I feel about this. Uh, I think the volunteer that they're offering is my brother Bob, uh, who has a lot of knowledge uh, in solar and wind energy. And uh, that'll be a big help to me. Uh, as you know, we would, uh, we've looked at PPAs, but uh, I think we can do better uh, by, by building our own facility. And we've shown it economically in, uh, in earlier reports. So this is very nice. Um, it, it, it will probably mean that we uh, get off the ground a little bit earlier. We've been working on the RFP. It's about 50 pages long, but it's, it's technical. But, you know, there are some things that we're learning from uh, some of the people that visit us about wanting to put up solar plants. And one of them is that the private sector uh, gets 30% tax credits uh, for building facilities. So we're trying to, to leave options in the RFP that if uh, local consortiums want to put together the money to finance the thing with, uh, and take advantage of that, that's a triple, that's a triple play. That's a win-win-win. Uh, we're just looking at that but right now. The the uh, the model is that we borrow money, build a plant. The plant does so much better than the cost of borrowing money, and uh, you know we're already in the utilities business anyway, producing that and our sewer plant and our water plant. So, and I think that the government is catching on more and more about the need for this. I see that. Uh, I hope hopefully the USDA will catch on. Uh, and maybe offer low interest uh, long term loans. Uh, if we can get the uh, borrowing rate down below 2%, as we have in other projects in the past, uh, it would be, I think you'd be pro providing yourself power at five cents a kilowatt. And I'm not exaggerating. But the idea of having locals benefit also kind of excites me that, you know, that, that people who are not getting anything with banks or not with investments, but have a safe, secure investment of local origin. And so that's something we, we, we really want to look at. Do you have any idea of when we can start ex expect, expecting some movement toward getting the closer to the auctions, I think our deadline is we want to hit them in about February. Okay. I'm not sure that we're going to make that, but you can't tell each year uh, what the value of those are going to be. This is like a 1.58 megawatt facility that we're looking at, which is probably in the range of five to seven million dollars. But, but as I say, it's exciting and, and, and you want to do it carefully because we do, we're not all experts on the solar industry. We, mm -hmm. You wouldn't know, you know, one type of solar facility from another right now, whether you had panels that would last or not. So, uh, but we will know in the end. It'll be in our specification.